Busia market has been silent for close to a month now. It was part of the border markets that were closed on the directive by the president to avert the spread of the coronavirus. Just a month later, traders who commenced business at the market are counting losses because their goods are rotting in the stores. Farouk Wambonya is one of those traders. He injected over 180 million shillings to stock his toll to the brim, hoping he would flourish on the profits since there was rush hour buying. Most of his grain is rotting, yet he claims his capital was a bank loan. The bank we want to talk about the Kwa centers are magazi chige mutu sali de kunga government or to save into win Wamule Bank. Other traders like Abdu Buwambo are also crying for. Busia market is one of the biggest cereal markets in the region. Two cabinet ministers paid courtesy visit to the market to hear out the traders' complaints. In the meeting, traders say that they have devised electronic means of transacting business with their Kenyan counterparts to avoid the spread of the pandemic. The arrangement is that they will make their orders, we shall prepare the grains for them, they will transfer the money online to Uganda, to our traders, and they will send their trucks to come and pick the grains. So we think that the biggest fear we had of interacting with the Kenyans will be minimal. The ministers say there could be a positive response by the National Task Force. Now, this market at the time the directive gave, came, we had the people who had stocked their produce. And they, they were not given a chance to sell off their stock. But at the same time, we believe they are making losses. So this morning, we have appealed to the Minister of Internal Affairs to allow the people of Busia to access the market, to sell off the, the stock that they, have, they had in the produce. But they think they had special reasons here under which they thought it could be opened. And uh, so they basically were requesting for a review of that directive, if possible, that they should be allowed. And uh, I've got their views. I'll take them back to the National Task Force and to the president and get more guidance and give them an answer. All that the traders want is to be granted access to their stores to sort out what has been spoiled and sell off the rest before it follows suit.